Being a NASA scientist is a dream for many young minds and a meteorologist we know. Yeah, and this <laughs> summer that dream becomes a reality for a handful of students. Yeah, for the first time on the East Coast, NASA Langley is conducting a student airborne research program. Meteorologist Steve Bondero caught up with a few of the students today and has more. Yeah, Stephanie Regina, remember doing science experiments in chemistry or physics class growing up? Now imagine getting to do that on a much bigger scale, like taking those experiments into the skies above Hampton Roads. Now this eight-week summer internship gives 30 students from across the country, both undergraduate and graduate, a complete look at what it's like to conduct a NASA airborne science mission. So that means detailed mission planning, installing and operating science instruments like you see right there from the air, the ground, and also along the waterways of the Chesapeake Bay, and then ultimately seeking conclusions from their research. Learning from a book is it's good to have the fundamentals, it kind of lays the backbone, but nothing will really prepare you for outside in the like in the work environment until you're in there. The mission is complex and the measurements complex, so this is a great opportunity for them to put those two pieces together and really gain a lot of experience in a short period of time. So today, a handful of the students took to the skies and were using microwave instruments to ultimately measure soil moisture. Yesterday, their uh, measurements recorded air quality. They're going to do that again later on in the week, which will be interesting because there's going to be some more of that Canadian wildfire smoke in our skies. Air quality should be okay. They're going to be flying for the remainder of this week and then all the way through next week, hoping to take advantage of our constantly adapting environment to truly learn from our planet. Stephen Darrow, 10 on your side.